Okay, um, I want to take a look at the EOTM indicator, otherwise known as pipes. And uh, I'll go over the elements here and explain it a little bit because uh, it can be, it, it can look and feel very confusing, but it's actually terrifically valuable. So let's, uh, let's take a look at this. Um, you see, I have only the price bars and the EOTM indicator on the screen. And when we isolate this, you can see that uh, it consists of a band up on top with the top and the bottom, a band down at the bottom with the top and the bottom, a little dot which appear, appears here, we would call that the center, and something we call the airbag, which is this green element here. And we see that it's projected forth into the future. Now, what EOTM is basically is a rather large collection of support and resistance tools that have been bunched together and projected into the future until they start to fall apart. And that turns out to be about out here. In, you know, in other words, a couple of bars into the future, further into the future than any of our other tools reach. And then we take that and we bring it back to the, the current bar and the live developing bar. So, <clears throat> okay. So this is a way of understanding this is basically to say that <clears throat> EOTM represents a consensus view of where resistance and support will exist, the extremes, in the future and several bars in the future. So it's where everybody thinks the market's going right now. Okay. Now then further, we might say that these elements up here, the uh, resistance lines, these represent the consensus of extreme. In other words, this is where everybody thinks the extreme is going to be. And as calculated by a bunch of different support and resistance tools, which have been bundled together and manipulated a bit to create a minimum and a maximum. So when they line up, <clears throat> that's basically a consensus of where a top might be a couple of bars in the future, according to what everybody sort of thinks technically. Okay, and everybody, by everybody I mean anybody who is in any way, shape, or form dealing with technical analysis of resistance and support lines. So it's a lot of different calculations, not just the PL dot, not just the envelopes, not just the, the zone areas, but lots of different ways of calculating future support, future uh, uh, resistance and support projected a couple of bars into the future. So a consensus projection of extremes and a consensus projection of where the bulk of the activity will be. In other words, if we take the PL, if we, if we say that the PL dot is a consensus of where the center of the market will be a couple of bar, one bar out. The EOTM is that consensus applied to a larger number of ways of looking at the future and brought back. So it's a, it's a broader and stronger and further reaching tool, it reaches further into the future and brought it back. So that can be very valuable, okay? That can be very helpful in a lot of different ways. And we're gonna see a couple of different ways of, of how we apply this. But right now, what I wanna do is to explain the components because there's, as always, a large series of terminology issues that we have to go through and a large series of, of, uh, of colors and, and uh, uh, plots and so forth that we need to understand in order to be able to deal with this uh, tool in a sophisticated way and to look at a chart and understand what the hell's going on. So looking at the, looking at this indicator, we see, let me just get the pointer back here for a second. 
we see a number of different elements. There's the top dot, we're going to call that the top of resistance, the bottom, and a line between them. The line is termed the oncoming. The top line you can re refer to as, as R1 or R2, and, and the line you can refer to as the oncoming. The space here is not referred to as anything. The green line is called an airbag. The support one, support two, and the support oncoming, okay? So, <clears throat> and then the center. Okay, the center is calculated as the difference, the center, the halfway point between this and that. Uh, and it uh, that can be useful. It's a moving average that represents, represents a consensus. The airbag is consists of it's a little little technically hard to to um, uh, to describe. In the original in the original eodum, these red lines extended down further. In fact, they still do in the trade station. And the airbag is the difference between them. Now we think airbag is kind of a dopey name, but there it is. We have our names and we continue with them. Eotum is possibly the most bizarre name in the world. E-O-T-E-M. So it means easy on the eyes and mind. It's just an acronym. So there you go for whatever that's worth. Okay, let's take a look at the, uh, the internal components of uh, the plotting and so forth, the way NinjaTrader handles it.